Spoken Word Symphony, Mastering Collocations in English. Hello, language enthusiasts. We're about to embark on a very exciting journey today as we delve into the heart of the English language and explore collocations. Collocations are a pivotal part of mastering any language, and today we're going to specifically focus on their role in spoken English. So buckle up, grab your notebook, and let's get started. Firstly, let's discuss what collocations are. A collocation is a combination of words that are commonly used together. These word pairs or phrases tend to sound right or natural to native English speakers. For example, brush your teeth or take a shower. This phenomenon is not just random. It's the result of language patterns and habits formed over centuries of use. Now that we know what collocations are, let's talk about why they're important. Utilizing collocations in your speech can help your English sound more natural and fluent. They allow you to convey your ideas more quickly and efficiently, as native speakers will quickly understand the familiar phrases. Importantly, using the right collocations can also help you avoid misunderstandings. There are several types of collocations. These include verb plus noun, e.g., take a break, adjective plus noun, e.g., heavy rain, noun plus noun, e.g., bread and butter, verb plus adverb, e.g., speak softly, adjective plus preposition, e.g., famous for. By recognizing and learning these patterns, you can significantly improve your spoken English. Now, let's dive into collocations in spoken English. Conversational language is full of collocations. Here are some examples that are commonly used in everyday conversations. Make a decision, instead of, do a decision. Have a good time, instead of, do a good time. Do homework, instead of, make homework. Being aware of these will help you sound more like a native speaker and also aid your comprehension when listening to spoken English. And there you have it. We've delved into the definition of collocations, understood why they are important, looked at some common types, and seen them in action in spoken English. Remember, understanding and using collocations is key to mastering spoken English, so don't forget to practice them as much as you can. Thank you for joining me in this exploration of the English language. Keep practicing, stay curious, and continue broadening your language horizons. Until next time, happy learning!